the Nobel Prize. Since 1901, it's been awarded to those who have changed the world and the way we see it. This is the story of a humble chemist with roots in Delaware who did just that. I'm Mary Watson on the beautiful campus of the University of Delaware, where Richard Heck did his most groundbreaking research. He won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2010, but his interest in chemistry started much earlier. When I was a teenager, my parents uh, purchased a new home in the suburbs of Los Angeles, sort of on a desert-like lot. My father and I got involved in planting the yard. I got to worrying about what chemicals were involved in fertilizers and I then began reading about it so that got me into chemistry. I took the chemistry courses in high school because this was just before I went into high school that I got interested in it. After college, Heck earned his PhD at UCLA working with Professor Saul Winstein. Well, he was a good teacher. He really knew chemistry, I think, and uh, he, he really inspired me because of his knowledge and he seemed to have an answer for every question you had. After postdoctoral work in Switzerland and California, Heck moved to Delaware in 1957 to work first at the Hercules Chemical Company and then at the University of Delaware. It was here in Delaware that Heck made his revolutionary discoveries, not for fame, glory, or money, but because he saw an opportunity to do something useful for society. I have windows in well, I was always looking for new chemistry, and I think that was my main goal. I used to uh, try to make uh, life simpler, I guess. And his boss said to him, and Hercules said, said, why don't you do something with metals, transition metals to be exact? So if you study transition metals at that time, you're way ahead of the field. And that's what he did. So what was this discovery that changed the world? Well, it's simply a palladium catalyzed addition of organic halides to double bonds. Right, but what does that mean? Well, it's kind of like making a peanut butter sandwich. Without a knife, it's pretty hard to get the peanut butter onto the bread. The palladium catalyst acts like the knife to create a new molecule. First, palladium takes this carbon atom out of the peanut butter jar, and it moves it toward the bread, or the double bond. By putting these two carbon atoms close to each other, palladium gets them to react to form the sandwich or the new molecule. This simple idea, the use of a palladium catalyst to cross-couple otherwise unreactive molecules, completely revolutionized the molecules we're able to make. If Professor Heck hadn't discovered what is known as the Heck reaction, the pharmaceutical industry would be a much different place. The tools that we use to catalyze reactions and synthesize new molecules are really reliant on many of the principles that Heck first established. The Heck reaction has had tremendous impact on our daily lives. It's used to make medicines for pain and asthma, sunscreen, herbicides, and performance materials for electronics. But Heck's contribution goes further than the Heck reaction. His strategy of using a palladium catalyst has inspired many other scientists. He has laid the groundwork for many people in many different areas to tremendously expand the kinds of uh, molecules, molecular structures, and molecular matter that they can access. I would like to uh, offer my sincerest uh, congratulations to one of my heroes, Professor Heck. Heck's co-laureates, Professor Aichi Nagishi and Professor Akira Suzuki, developed other reactions that also use palladium catalysts. Although their reactions use different starting materials, they still rely on a palladium catalyst to bring carbon atoms together. Since Heck's discovery, scientists have figured out how to use palladium catalysts to build all sorts of bonds, like carbon-carbon, carbon-nitrogen, carbon-oxygen, and carbon-fluorine. Even with all these incredible applications, the full impact of Heck's groundbreaking discoveries has still not been fully realized. His research continues to inspire scientists at the forefront of chemistry. 
Professor Heck was one of the first people in the world, really, to study the mechanisms of organometallic reactions. And so what that means is basically he was one of the first people in the world to really understand how the molecules come together to do what they do in these reactions. And so for me, that was really inspiring, not only because I'm particularly interested in studying the using palladium to make new bonds, make new chemical bonds, but also because I'm really interested in being able to understand how the reactions work so that we can design ways to make them work even better. Many challenges confronting society today may ultimately be solved by new scientific discoveries. Heck's story shows how a humble scientist and fundamental discoveries in chemistry can have remarkable impact. Heck did indeed change the world. Will you?